Hey, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So, Microsoft has recently made an interesting announcement that might be affecting the way updates are delivered to your system through Windows Update in the near future. And this new feature they've announced as, and are calling it, Checkpoint Cumulative Updates. So, this is a new feature they announced um, alongside the latest Dev Channel Insider Preview build that rolled out um, yesterday on the 15th of July. And I posted on that build and I'll leave that video linked down below and in the end screen. Now, in a nutshell, what this is going to do regarding the future of Windows updates, which might be rolling out with version 24H2, the long and the short of this announcement is that the checkpoint updates are basically designed to make the update process more efficient, according to Microsoft, and are not like the traditional updating system that accumulates all changes since the original release. So instead, basically, it works by creating incremental updates from the last checkpoint rather than the original release, thereby giving you, um, you know, smaller and quicker and kind of more stable updates. Now, that's the kind of overview of what of the announcement so if you want to stick around just to dive a little bit deeper into what microsoft was talking about and this is the announcement introducing windows 11 checkpoint cumulative updates and i'll leave this link down below and in the end screen if you would be interested so yeah if we just head over to uh, this paragraph yeah they kind of sum it up they say with windows 11 version 24 h2 we're introducing a new concept of checkpoint cumulative updates. This will allow you to get features and security enhancements via the latest cumulative update through smaller incremental differentials contained, containing only the changes since the previous checkpoint cumulative update. So this means that you can save time, bandwidth, and hard drive space. But just uh, take note, though, that Microsoft says here, going forward, Microsoft might periodically release cumulative updates as checkpoints. And the subsequent updates will then consist of the update package files associated with the checkpoints, new update package files that contain incremental binary differentials against the version of binaries in the last checkpoint. So basically, to sum it all up, the process may be repeated multiple times according to Microsoft, thereby generating multiple checkpoints during the life cycle of a given Windows release. So as an example, 23H2, 24H2. So the Windows 11 version 24H2 servicing stack can merge all the checkpoints and only download and install contents that's missing on the device. So that's why they're saying um, this will just give you, um, basically make the update process a lot more efficient. And like all things with Microsoft, they have said you might periodically release cumulative updates as checkpoints. So this is still in the dev channel, hasn't made its way yet to stable. And according to Microsoft, um, could roll out with version 24H2. So with Microsoft, I always say only time will tell. But nonetheless, if I get any more info, I'll keep you guys posted. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.